It began in Asia's largest pleasure district. A murder in the back streets of Kamurocho. The man falsely blamed for the crime is Kazuma Kiryu of the Dojima family. To shield Dojima Captain Kazuma, the man who raised him, he risks his life and leaves the Tojo clan. The man behind the plot is next in line to Kazama. Dojima Lieutenant and Keno Clan Chairman, Daisaku Kuze. His ultimate aim, a patch of land known as the Empty Lot. A forgotten square of Kamurocho and the linchpin of a massive revitalization project. Amidst the Yakuza's furious battle for the lot, one man draws Kiryu under his wing. Tachibana real estate president, Tetsu Tachibana. Guided in secret by Kazama's hand, he prepares to make his move and to change Kiryu's fate forever. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Yakuza 0 Chapter 5 An Honest Living. So, what? You finally decided to join up with Tachibana? Yeah. Officially, I'm an employee at his real estate firm. You're a real estate agent now? Wow! Look at you and your overnight jump to a legit career. Well, I thought they're exactly what I'd call outstanding! No kidding. So, let me get this straight. Tachibana Real Estate's helping you clear your name in the murder investigation? Yeah. Tachibana's already digging around for info, using the firm's information network. So, hopes are high? I'd say so, yeah. Just... From what Tachibana's heard, the name's already come up with the cops. The prince turned up on that body in the empty lot. Whoa, so does that mean they're out there looking for you right now? No, he's on that too. Tachibana has been pulling strings around the force. You can't get them to drop it entirely, but he says he can slow them down a little. At the end of the day, I'll still be a wanted man if I can't find the real killer. I've got maybe two, three days left of being able to walk around the city without having a look over my shoulder. Gotcha. Still, that's pretty impressive. Tachibana's gotta have some serious connections in the police to pull something like that off. Seems that way. I guess there's not much you could do on that front but leave them to it and hope for the best. So, what you up to now? Sitting in the batting cage. Uh, I told you. Real estate. Huh? Just until we can pin down the owner of the empty lot. Sounds like they're just one step away at this point. Until then, they asked me to help out with the rest of the firm's work. I couldn't really say no. Wait, really? You doing honest office work? Yeah. One of Tachibana's top men, this guy called Oda, is showing me the ropes. I'm meeting him after this at Cafe Alps. But before that, I need to do something about these clothes. Your clothes? You told me I can't show up to work there looking like a Yakuza. I said I need to get a proper businessman suit. Ah, is that why you called me out today? You always know best when it comes to fashion stuff. I was hoping you could help me find something classy that makes me look less like a criminal. <laughs> and you've come to the right place, buddy. Alright, leave it to me. No pressure. Not expecting much here. 
I just figured your pick would be less of a train wreck than mine. Screw you. Is that how you ask a guy a favor? Oh my god. From rags to... More expensive rags, I guess. Yay. Yay. Also, we've never been to the batting cage. It's kind of sad that the first time was in a cutscene. How much time you're supposed to meet that guy? Not a whole lot. If we can, I'd like to take care of this here in Kamarocho. Well, that limits our options a bit. Places around here that sell business clothes. So we're looking at men's suit in Nakamichi Alley? Nakamichi Alley? Since when is a clothing store back there? It's where a lot of rookie hosts get their suits. You're not going to find any high-end brands there. But they should get the job done at a decent price. No complaints from me there. Let's get going. Buy civilian clothes and also get the cat off the desk in front of you? So I'm thinking here. You ask me to pick out clothes for you means you admit you have terrible taste. Oh, shut up. I'm just trying to avoid making waves. Like when that's safe and boring, okay? Wait, anyway, if I'm doing this at all, I'm doing it right. Hey, can you keep up? We're gonna turn you into a businessman yet. Please, I'm telling you, just make it normal. <laughs> Leave it to me. That's the plan! Also, against my better judgment, I'm leaving the cat on the desk in front of me. It's the destructive one! I have two cat- Wait, if I fight right now, will Nishikiyama help? Delinquents! Hey, Nishikiyama? You gonna help? Oh, shit! <laughs> I don't know that I actually ever seen Nishikiyama help me in a fight. I mean, besides some other times, but don't worry about that. Hiya! Oh man, you know what I miss? Breaker style. <laughs> Although you can't really do this in breaker style, can you? Like throw a guy into another guy. No, no, no. They said a little. Are you guys hugging? Oh, are you guys fucking? And only I get to fuck Nishiyama. Wait, no. That's not what I meant. Fuck. I promise not to do it again. Yeah, go fuck yourself, asshole. Come on, Nishikiyama. Let's go finish our date, yeah? Here we go. I think I was actually... Is this the place that I actually offered that guy a jacket before? Wow. Really is a clothing store back here. Let's dive in. If you see when that grabs your eye, let me know. All right. Oh, Kiryu. What you got cooking, buddy? Oh, baby's first legitimate suit. Playing it safe. You're probably looking at one of these. Uh, I'm not really feeling it. They're boring. Welcome to clothes for the respectable working man. All that talk about flashiness only applies to Yakuza, remember? Yeah, but this is like... Won't I look broken then? Fits you like a glove then. Yeah, real funny. Oh, how about this one? Are you stupid? Absolutely no freaking way! Yet somehow I knew that's the one you'd pick. This suit's so loud it's practically screaming. It'd be held to coordinate the watch, shoes, hair, and accessories. Paired with the wrong stuff and you'd look like a clown. Fashion aside, it takes effort to work a look like that. An oblivious guy like you would wind up looking like it was the suit wearing you, not the other way around. Jeez, Fashion's a real pain in the ass. Here, how about this? The color is muted, but with the peaked lapel, it's gonna look flashier than you'd think. Oh, white, huh? It's a lot less crazy than that print monster, at least. Well, go ahead and try it on. Right here! Alright, unzips fly! Oh, thank God, there's a changing room. I assume I heard a door open. Yo, I'm looking fresh, baby! Finally, I got that suit! Yo. Yo. What do you think, Nishiki? <laughs> 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 
Nani What's water. so funny? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It's just that yeah, it totally doesn't matter what you wear. You still don't look legit. <laughs> You want to pick the damn thing out? <gasps> I know, man. But still, just. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I like this outfit. I'll take it. Huh? Oh, wait. Are you sure? You don't look like an office type like at all. You would have just said to get some new clothes. I did what he asked. He's got complaints. That's his problem. Is that right? Okay, then. If you're really sure, then the suit's my treat. I'm gonna celebrate my bro's fresh start. What are you talking about? I hadn't planned on buying it from the start. Greedy bastard. Thank you very much! No, thank you! I love you! Are you single? Sorry to rope you into helping me out, Nishiki. Thanks. Sure. Now, you've got that meeting to head to, right? With Tachibana's guy? What was his name? Oda. Yeah. We're meeting up at Cafe Elks. Oh, that's right. Oh, and be careful, Kyrio. Word is that Kuze's on the warpath. He's dead set on ending you. The last run and left him short on fingers and on patience. I'll bet. If things get hairy, give me a call any time. I've got shavers out the ass. And in the ass. It really hurts. I'm bleeding all the time. I can't even fucking wipe my ass. Uh, anyway. Okay, it's about time to meet Oda. Pretty sure Cafe Elf is on Nakamichi Street. I should get moving. We're not gonna get words on the screen. Okay. And off we go! We're actually not that far at all. Dude, we're looking fresh! Finally, dude! This is the this is the cover art fucking suit for Kiryu. And I'm feeling fresh, and there's a cat attacking my foot. Oh, you want attention, you little shit. Oh hey, Oda. Uh, hello? Yo, you good? You just <laughs> Hey, you're here. He's getting tired of waiting. Oda. I'm forgetting a son there, Junior. What kind of employee talks to his boss that way? Oh, I'm at it. What the hell's with that getup? I told you to get a proper suit, didn't I? You think you look like a civilian, that? Like you could talk. Huh? Really? You think so? You sure there's nobody more qualified to train me? Tachibana doesn't have anyone else. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. You think anybody but me can keep you in check? Hope you're ready. I'm a tough love kind of teacher. What are these? Vanity specs. They magically turn a face made for mugshots into that of a civilized human being. Do you seriously expect me to wear these things? But you're running already. Mm, well, it's better than nothing, I guess. Yo, I'm looking fresher by the second, baby! Alright then, let's get it started, yeah? First off, we're meeting a regular of ours here. Older gentleman. Naive for his age, though. Too rich for his own good. Seems our pals run afoul of a particularly nasty squatter. Squatter? Huh? You're a Yakuza and you don't know about squatters? You're hopeless, kid. So, squatters. Basically, they take over properties in order to extort a sizable relocation fee from the owner. How do they take them over? Huh. Okay, so if a mortgage owner defaults, a lot of times the court puts the building up for auction. Properties like that tend to go for a lot less than market value. But, they also have a tendency of bringing squatters out of the woodwork who slide in while it's vacant. 
These guys dig their heels in and say they refuse to leave. Whole point being to get the property buyer to pay some insane amount to get them to clear out. Even though they weren't proper tenants to begin with? You got it. Though most of the time, the squatters are in cahoots with the previous owner. The old owners tip off their buddies that their place got auctioned in exchange for a cut of whatever they extort. So, let me guess. Our job is to kick squatters to the curb? Nope, not that easy. Poor, vulnerable residents like them are protected to hell and back by the law. We use force and it becomes a police matter. And it goes without saying we'd be the ones the cops put in cuffs. Be screwed up, right? At the end of the day, the buyers gotta suck it up and pay some big bucks to get rid of them. Yeah, that's not right. Which is why our client here is coming to ask us to resolve the matter for as little cash as possible. He should be here soon. Unless we can wait for him inside. Oh, I almost forgot to give you these first. Your very own business cards, Kiryu-kun. You're an official Tachibana real estate agent now. But stay sharp. I'm using today to gauge your business skills. You pull some slacker bullshit on me, you can bet your leisure-suited ass the boss is gonna hear about it. Fine by me. Excuse me, sir. You think I'm leisure suit Larry? Okay, <laughs> not me. Welcome, gentlemen. Please sit anywhere you'd like. Anywhere I like, huh? It was good to talk business. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, uh, hi, Oda. Boy, <laughs> that hurt you, Dick. Ah, uh, let's here. This looks as good as any. Good. This should work fine. A perfect spot for a professional chat. I'm gonna take. Oof. Um. Really? I guess make the. The client work less, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude! What the fuck you think I am? Lose your suit, Larry? Come on, you're not really gonna sit at the head, are you? Um. Fuck! I went on a task! The end closest to the front is the door. The end furthest from it's the head of the table. Obviously, we get the foot. I don't know, dude. Well, obviously. I knew that much. How lot of good that does if you can't act on it? Keep in mind from now on when you're taking a seat. Yes, sir, I'm sorry. Alright. All right. Hello, gentlemen. Are you ready to order? Oh, Alright. We wait. We wait. We wait! Yeah, thanks. Uh, I don't need anything right now. I'll place my order in just a minute, if you don't mind. Understood, sir. Oh, really? What? You got a problem? No, no, I'm impressed. I was afraid you'd try to order before the client got here. I really want to impress Oda. <laughs> you got a coffee to sip while you kick back and wait for him to arrive. That'd have slapped the rude right out of you. I guess that's the years of Yakuza life paying off. This must get protocol drilled into you pretty hard. That's not the only thing, sir. <laughs> ah, like sharp. He's here. That older guy's our client. Hey, sir, have you considered shaving? Hello, Yamanoi-san. It's been too long. It is. Sorry about this, Oda-san. The whole situation's a bit of a mess. And who is this? Our newest tire, Kyrio. I'll be having him help on this case for you, sir. Oh, is that so? Give us a start! Kyrio, Tachibana Real Estate, sir. <laughs> Best quick time event I've ever fucking seen in my life. Nice. Business cards are step one in any business exchange. It doesn't matter how hard you sell yourself, they don't walk away with a business card, your history to them. 
Close, but your card's upside down there, champ. I didn't have a quick time for that! <laughs> it's still a nice effort for your first try. I'll catch you some slack. Here you, son, is it? Yeah, I look forward to working with you. Thank you. The pleasure's mine, sir. And I mean, fuck, it's really- I'm really pleasuring myself here, sir. Uh, not- not in that way. Oh, fuck. I see. What you describe sounds like a typical squatter. You purchased the property at auction last month, correct? Meaning the squatter took up residence just before that? Yes, I think so. That's just the one occupant? Yes, a man named Suji. Early 40s, I'd say. Filthy fellow. Looks like he's homeless. I mean, not anymore! Has he asked you for a relocation payment yet? Not yet. I was hoping to leave those negotiations to you Tachibana guys if possible. I'm not- I'm no spring chicken, and the whole thing makes me nervous. I do hope you'll be able to chase him off without trouble. Of course. If I may, Yamanoi-san, how much should you have in mind is the most you'd be willing to pay him? I'd like to be done with it as quickly as possible, so... Maybe five million or so? Five million? To a guy who's just squatting there? Well, naturally, less than that would be ideal if possible. But why the hell should you pay this punk any money at all? If it were me, I wouldn't cough up a damn yen. Hey, watch your tone! This Suji fellow says that he has the Yakuza behind him. If I put up a fuss now, it could mean worse trouble later. I understand your concerns, sir. But please, rest assured, our man Kiryu here is an expert at handling Yakuza. Oh. A Yakuza expert? Hmm, how do I put this? He's a Yakuza otaku who really gets into character when he starts nerding out. Sometimes he likes to play dress up and pretend he's a real Yakuza for the hell of it. Isn't that right, Kiryu kun? Yeah. That's me. In any case, we'll get that payment down as low as we can. Can I leave the matter in your hands, then? Needless to say, I've also set aside funds to thank you for your services. Ah, you're very generous, sir. But Dachibana instructed me to politely decline any such gesture. He said to thank you for all your kindness you've shown us. Did he now? Well, that's Tachibana real estate for you. Always going the extra mile. Now, may I ask where to find the property in question? On Tenkaichi Street, the Sugita building. Understood. We'll handle everything from here, sir. Won't we, Kiryu-kun? Yeah. So where next on our date, Oda? We got the gist of that, yeah? Basically, we just need to clear the, that squatter out of the building. I'll handle the negotiations. You just watch and learn. But this squatter guy's got the Yakuza backing him, right? Do you really think that negotiating is gonna cut it? Guess that depends on how good I am. In the meantime, Kiryu-kun, I'll bestow upon you your first mission. And what's that? Run along and fetch me a confectionery gift box. Ah! Even if we're dealing with squatter trash, you don't show up to a negotiation table empty-handed. We're back to business etiquette 101, kid. This again? Fine. Understood. Once you've got those sweets, meet me in front of the Sugita building. I'll wait for you there. See you soon. Yeah. You said the Sugita building was on Tenkaichi Street. Can't say the name rings any bells, though. That whole area is Dojima Family Turf, so I know it pretty well. But I don't remember any place like that. 
Might be tucked away on one of the smaller streets off Tenkaichi. I'll have a look once I've got this gift box. Get the gift box! Okay! There's no words on the screen again. Oh, here's the bike I seen in the cutscene. Can I take it to the, to the location? I'm gonna guess not. <laughs> Can I just go to the Sega High Tech Land instead? Is that okay with you, Oda, sir? Oh, he's not here anymore. See, I thought we were attached by the hip. <laughs> Me and that guy that I just passed, though, we were very temporarily attached by the hip. Is this the... Is this my place? Wait, is this my place? Is this my place with my girl? Is my girl in here? Hello? Hey! Miho! That's your name. Hello, Kiryu-san. Hey, what up? I, uh, I, you know me, just coming in for my daily milk. Delicious. Thank you for shopping with us. Okay, bye. I'll be in some other time. Dude, our friendship with Mio is nearly max. Soon I'll get that kiss on the cheek, right? <laughs> right? That's, that's what I'm doing this for. I don't get that kiss on the cheek. I'm gonna fucking cry. Oh, where am I going? Oh, hey, Yoda. I didn't get the, huh? I didn't get the, the confectionery gift box. Hello? Hey, Kiryu-kun. You buy that confection gift box? Oh. Boy, oh, on. Are you seriously ex Yakuza? I at least expect you to be able to handle simple errands. Sorry. Oh, I'll go get it right now. Oh, I did, mm, I was just under the impression that, uh... That... You know, I, the the marker would have been on the the gift box, and then when I seen it was Oda, I was, what the fuck? Is there one here, and I just didn't see it? I drafted some ideas for our head office based on your feedback. They appreciated the input and rewarded this branch with the addition of a new hot snack to our menu. It won't be available anywhere else. Isn't that nice? So That's then. great. Good for you. We're starting to sell this today. Can you guess what it is? Well, let me give you a hint. It's delicious by itself, or with soy sauce or mustard. It's a specialty from Nagoya area. Goes well with soy sauce or mustard, you say? It's obviously steamed pork buns. Hello? I think I got it. Is it steamed pork buns? Who puts soy sauce on steamed buns? Or even worse, mustard. Well, okay, that's a fair point. Right? So, that's not the right answer. Think again. Goes well with soy sauce. I don't fucking. I'm not Japanese, dude. I don't eat any of these. I've had miso soup in my life. I don't think you'd put mustard in soup, so I'm gonna go with the miso cutlets. I think I got it. Is it miso cutlets? Bingo! So, starting today, we'll be selling yummy miso cutlets. Yay! <laughs> Can't wait to try one. I really like them too. Oh. And the reward for guessing correctly is our brand new miso cutlet lunch set. Incredible, yes. <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. Besides, it's thanks to your input that we have those on our menu now. I can't thank you enough. Yeah. You're giving me too much credit. Besides, look at you. You've become a model employee. You're excellent at customer service as well. Hmm, you think so? Well, I guess I'm not as nervous around customers anymore. Uh. Not only that. But the head office likes your ideas, too. Who knows? You could be the manager of this store soon. Oh, no way. I have so much to learn before I can even start thinking about that. But if I am getting better at my job, I have you to thank for that. How so? You were so scary looking that I was terrified of you at first. But we managed to become friends. Since then, I don't get jittery around other people anymore. Chatting with customers over the till became so easy. Come on. I'm not that scary, am I? Well... <laughs> Any- <laughs> The kiss on the cheek is coming, baby! Anyway, I hope I can return the favor by making Popo your, your favorite store. Please come shopping with us. Yeah. Yes! The kiss on the cheek, though, right? The kiss- The kiss on the- The kiss- Excuse me, the kiss on the cheek, though, right? What the fuck? Do I only get one CP for befriending her? Hey. Hello, Kiryu-san. It's good to see you again. Do you have confectionery, whatever? Hello? Hello? 
I don't want any of this. Bye. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. I'll be off then. Also, she didn't comment on my glasses. Mio, what the fuck? I also got a haircut. You didn't even fucking notice. Um, I'm gonna assume that it probably. I mean, like, for anything weird, fucking Don Quixote is like always the place. So I'm thinking maybe Don Quixote? I don't know, dude. Maybe. Also, I wouldn't mind smashing some heads in on the way if somebody wants to fuck with me. If somebody wants to have intercourse with me on the way to Don Quixote, I will have sex. Okay? I'm down to fuck. Can I go down there? No. I don't know that I've ever seen that, though. Okay, bye. Sorry, I don't mean to spank you. Fuck, I'm such a bastard fuck. I'm a bastard fuck. <laughs> uh, do you guys have the confectionery, whatever the fuck? Hello? Are you begging? Please shop here. Please. Sir, I'll, I'll do it. Um, you have to... Please, please. Getting a bad feeling about this. Where would I? It's really weird that the the game was not just pointing to the store that has it. Okay. Well, I guess at the top of next episode we're gonna be actually buying this fucking thing. Were those condoms? Are those Amy Rose hammers? Is this instant ramen? Is this plant? I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm taking inventory of the whole store, as one day I will buy it. Mark my words. Um, yeah, we're gonna, um... Dude, I thought this was a Pikachu. <laughs> it's like, um, hello. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll, uh... I guess we'll find wherever the fuck actually sells this thing, uh... The top of next episode. You would think it would be this store, considering it's, like, right around the corner, but it's not. I don't know. I'll find the store and... You know, we'll buy it at the top of next episode. That's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this episode, please give it a like. If y'all want to subscribe for the remainder of Let's Play, please do so. Also, consider supporting me over on Patreon. Links for everything I just mentioned in the description down below. As always, thanks again for watching. Come back next time for when we actually buy this fucking confectionery, whatever the fuck. And, uh, you know, from there, who the fuck knows, dude? We're going to rip a squatter's asshole in half. Right? Would that impress Oda? I mean, maybe in all the wrong ways, but, you know, I'll try it anyway. <laughs>